Hey, this is Jake Kane at BallparkSavvy.com. I'm going to talk to you about parking at a Reds game at Great American Ballpark. Um, I'm, I'm from Cincinnati. I'm a big Reds fan. <clears throat> and when I started the site, this was the first page I did. Um, so I'd like to think I know a decent amount about this. Uh, but the first place that I look to park when I go down just on a typical weekday evening, there's a $2 lot on 6th Street. Uh, I, I live, or I typically live coming from 71 South, so like the Kenwood area. And I go down and get off at the 3rd Street exit um, and kind of go up Broadway there, headed north, and when it hits 6th Street. And right there, there's a lot right by PNG, which is a PNG employee lot by day. Uh, it becomes a $2 uh, parking garage at night. Um, so I go there a lot of times. Obviously, $2 is a great deal. Uh, and it's about four or five blocks from the ballpark, and there's a skyline on the way. So a lot of times we stop and grab dinner before we go in and save some money there as well. Um, the one downside to it, you pay when you leave. So sometimes if it's a really crowded game, it can be a little tough getting out of there. So you need to just kind of gauge that, be aware of it. Um, if there's a huge crowd, you know, or whatever, just know that it might take you a little bit to get out of that garage. Um, another thing is, you know, the meters in the city typically are free after 6 p.m. So if you go again down 3rd Street, I get off that exit, and sometimes I'll go a couple blocks around on your left there on 3rd Street. There's metered parking which, you know, after six o'clock. So, you know, if you can get there between five and six and look for a spot and kind of sit there for a little bit or feed the meter, or whatever is necessary until it's free and then leave your car there. That, that's tougher to do. You have to be early, uh, but sometimes you get lucky. So as you're driving around downtown, keep an eye out for those metered spots because a lot of times that's a great way to score you know, really cheap or even free parking at the ballpark. Um, other than that, Fountain Square is five dollars after four o'clock. So you know, if you're from Cincinnati or, or maybe not, maybe you're traveling into town, Fountain Square is basically the hub of downtown. So it's it's a very safe area just simply because there's there's tons of people around and there's always a big police presence. So there's a lot going on around there as far as food and other things. So it's a great place to park your car. Um, you know, it's very modern, so you can get something to eat before or after the game. There's a rock bottom right there. And again, it's not too bad of a walk to the ballpark. It'll probably take you between five and ten minutes to walk from there. Um, it's pretty good. And then the final thing I'll mention uh, is on the northern Kentucky side. So I used to live over there in Covington uh, on Greenup Street. And a lot of times you can park over there, not right on the river, but just a few blocks further away, kind of into the more residential areas of Covington and Newport. And usually you can park for free. There, there's a lot of spots that are not metered. Or again, you know, the meter that it expires at a, at a decent hour or something like that. You always want to check. But um, usually if you go a few blocks down into town, you know, you can find spots there. So it kind of depends how, how cheap you are and how much you like to walk. When, I, when we first got married, we would walk probably about a mile, um, and it didn't bother us at all. We had an apartment in Covington, and we just walk right across the suspension bridge into the ballpark. And so it was great, you know. I mean, you get that much more money you could spend on food or tickets or whatever you want to do. So anyway, um, quite a few options there. And uh, worst comes to worst, the official Reds parking is about $12 to park down by the banks. So now that I have kids, you know, I find myself doing that every now and then. I'm not as much of a cheapskate as I used to be. Um, that has pretty good value too when you're tugging kids around with you and you don't feel like walking a few blocks or whatever to just come right up under the ballpark for 12 bucks. It may sound like a lot of money, but compared to a lot of other stadiums, that's a phenomenal deal. Uh, if you go to a Yankees game or something, you'll, you'll know what I mean. So anyway, hopefully that's helpful. I've got a link below to my full um, Great American Ballpark Guide with other information about saving money. Hopefully you enjoy it and uh, have a good one.